All right. I'm going to address some of the things that's going on today. First, why are we protesting? Why are people out of the streets rioting? It's because there's a different set of laws for us for white America and for, and for police. How long do you expect peace and peacefulness out of a person or out of a people when there's constant brutality, constant inequality and constant injustice? How long do you want peace? This is why the young brothers and sisters are out there saying no justice, no peace. Mayor Bottoms of Atlanta spoke very articulately and I felt what she was saying and the sincerity in which it came from. But dear sister, we don't want to live in the legacy of Dr. King. Where did they get him? He got mauled by dogs. He got water hose flashed, you know, sp sprayed on him. And then ultimately he was killed. We don't want to, to follow in the footsteps of Dr. King. Nah. We done with the marching we done with the praying. We done singing the old slave songs. The hell with amazing grace. The sound isn't sweet. And it did not save or offer shelter to a black man like me. How long Do you want peace? When there's no peace pointed our way. We've been crying and yelling that we can't breathe since we've been here. But the knee has yet to be lifted from our neck. Stop giving cops privilege that others would not get right here in Atlanta cops snatched two babies and I said babies because they are my daughter's age or around that age out of the car tased them slammed them to the ground Vandalized their property for nothing. College students. And you know, they got fired. I hear you saying they got fired. But so what? Who gives a damn about them getting fired? Here's where the privilege comes in. If I was to tase somebody with a taser. A taser is, con um, is considered a lethal weapon. That's aggravated assault. That's a class A felony. Are they getting charged with a class A felony? No. I think they're just getting charged with like assault. If I broke somebody's arm. That's a class, if I'm not mistaken, that's a class A felony as well. Use the baton or whatever. That's a class A felony. That is aggravated assault. And it's on two people. They're being allowed to turn themselves in by Friday with a $10,000 bond. $10,000. On a class A felony? 
which they're not getting charged. But if it was me, that'd have been a hundred thousand dollars. Now, oh, and then also too, they don't even have to pay signature bond. You think they're gonna give one of us a signature bond if we use a deadly weapon on someone? That caused them bodily injury. That we can just sign out. A signature bond. No. Cop privilege. That man who killed. George Floyd. 12. Complaints. Zero disciplinary action. That's where we are. Where we are right now. And for you coons. You boot licking. Buck dancing, ass kissing, apologist, compromising, knee bowing ass niggas. We tired of hearing from you. We ain't going on. And we don't want peace. Fuck you. You are the dogs for your master. We don't want to hear from you. You scary ass niggas. We tired of you. And if it ever shit ever hits the fan, we come to you first. Do yourself and do us a favor. Get a rope and find a tree. There can't be no peace without justice. And you fuck around and let these, and you fuck around and let them go. You let them go. It's going to be hell. So y'all get ready. It's going to be hell. So you cannot ask us to stop the lawlessness. When there's lawlessness within the departments and the people which is supposed to be upholding the law. Shouldn't it start there? Shouldn't you hold your police officers to a higher standard that you hold the citizens? Why is it that a cop can do all kind of horrific things. And by the virtue of him being a cop. He gets special treatment. He should be punished more severely. Because he. Has held an oath. To serve and protect. The hell with the training. Cops don't need more training. You Cops need. Police departments need to stop hiring racist cops. Period. They have the proper training. No police department in this country teaches putting a knee in somebody's neck. They don't teach that. That's not a part of their training. You don't need more training. You need better cops. You need a better screening process. You need to open up an atmosphere within your police department that let other officers know it's okay to root out the bad cops instead of punishing those good cops who are trying to root out the evil and the racism and the bigotry within your own department. They don't need more training. You need a culture change. Otherwise, we will burn your fucking police departments down. I am not upset that you burn down police departments, but black people don't burn down businesses within your own community that's owned by your own people. Don't do that. Arm yourselves. Tactical training. Organize within your own communities. So when you see a police officer out there harassing one of your brothers and one of your sisters, 
the neighborhood comes out strapped and monitor those police officers. That's one way you start. And to you coons who was running around here talking about you voting for Donald Trump, find a rope and a tree and do us all a favor. Because I read your post on Facebook throughout these years since Donald Trump's been a president. And you are coons and I'm talking to every last one of you. So please come comment on this. I'm talking to you. You coon. You don't see nothing wrong with Donald Trump. I don't like no politician. But Donald Trump, oh my God. I'm not, that's a whole nother video. But that's what I have to say. Video one out.